Happy New Year! It's 2023 and I'm so excited and I'm grateful to God for keeping us all alive. It's not about our minds nor about our power but God has just been faithful in our life and without Him we are literally nothing and I'm sure that a lot of things would have gone bad in our life without God. It's just so amazing how he loves us, you guys. I'm preaching, <laughs> preaching, you guys. Anyways, tell me down in the comment section, how did you celebrate Christmas? How did you celebrate New Year? Were you with your family? This was my fourth Christmas and New Year. No, is it? Yeah, fourth Christmas and New Year away from my family. And I know how I always used to anticipate this time because we just had this tradition in my family and it was literally just fun celebrating christmas but then moving here even though i try i try to make myself be in the mood of the season i try to do things to feel happy but then you cannot just take away that fact that you are away from home you guys so anyways it was okay during christmas i hosted my friend new year which is today i just said to be on my own reflect on how 2022 was by the way you guys i <laughs> decided to try or abide by the filipino um ritual of cooking okay yeah because in the philippines i noticed that they celebrate new year so much so usually they would cook 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 and once it's 12 a.m they will eat and then they eat because they say they want the year to be fruitful they shouldn't lack and all that it's like going into the new year with good luck and so many other things so this year i said to try it um i cooked i showed you guys in the clip before just fried rice because during christmas i also made fried rice and jello fries but then i gave it to almost everybody that came to my house so this time it was just for me so I cooked it into the new year and we're hoping that it shall be fruitful, it shall be full of blessings and God's favor upon our life. Um, Happy New Year again to you guys. I was just reflecting because usually when I start the new year, I always write like a lot of um, things that I hope to accomplish, that I hope God will make it possible for me. So I was reading this Bible verse, it's like an application, right? So you have different plans that you follow. And I saw a, a particular devotion I read this morning for New Year morning. It says something about DV and someone, I write the meaning, I think it wasn't English, it was French or what language, I don't know. But 
in general the person was telling the story and everything he would say he would add dv 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 so what does dv mean it means god's willing so i always hope even though as man as human being we say what we want but god has the final say right you guys all know this without god in our life i don't know what will happen so going into 2022 i wrote down all the things i was hoping and by god's willing dv everything will come to reality and you guys god has been faithful i cannot even lie he has been faithful in my life i'm going to say since i found him my life has not remained the same i always used to say oh i'm a christian i'm a christian and all that but 2022 was something else in my life since i found god he has never left me to be honest i'm just appreciative for everything i accomplished the ones i shared with you guys here you guys saw a lot of it it was full of blessings 2022 on my channel you guys saw it like i shared some and the ones that i couldn't even share that i had to keep to myself it was just so amazing i was talking to my mom and i was literally saying that almost everything i asked god for he made it possible for me who am i do i even deserve it i'm grateful to be honest like he made everything perfect you guys only have been supporting me. I cannot even say thank you enough. I just pray that 2023 will be a year that you will remember in your life. I pray that we all achieve something great. And by the time we end 2023, we're going to look back and say thank you, Lord, for what you've done in our lives. Yes, you guys, that's just for me. To be honest, my 2022 was amazing even though it came with its own ups and down let's just say that the good things that happened in my life were more than the bad times in fact i wouldn't really say i had any bad times at some point i got super super busy in 2022 i took a break i think it was around april and i didn't come back until july i was scared i didn't know what to expect did youtube forget my channel you guys the first few videos i uploaded when i came back they did so well so 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 well i didn't even expect that youtube would just pick up my channel and just recommend my videos because with youtube once you go away it's just as if youtube will forget about you so <laughs> it was amazing the videos did so well i was consistent from august when i started uploading until december i think i uploaded every wednesday and sundays which were my upload days if i missed it shouldn't be once or twice that i missed my upload days but i was consistent i didn't even know i could do it you guys knew that i moved to papanga also in august yeah it was a new step in my life i didn't even know what to expect it was just like let's just go let's go and see what happens I, I came, it was okay. I tried my best to adjust to life, <laughs> even though it's so, so, so different from the life in Odeneta. Let's just say in Odeneta, I knew a lot of people here. I didn't know anybody. So having to live alone was a problem also. Even to date, I don't even have any much friends apart from my Filipino friends that I have here. So, and I'm just trying to make friends. So it's been a roller coaster. Anyways, I'm just thankful for a lot of things. I've been able to stand on my own, take care of myself. It's just been a lot. God has been faithful. When I look at my life, I say, this is God's grace. This is God doing his wonders and his miracles in my life. It's just, it's amazing everything that happened. I'm grateful. You guys also know that I graduated in 2022. Wow. <laughs> just look at me. I'm a graduate of pharmacy. Thank you to my parents for supporting me throughout. It was marvelous. Thank you so much. And thank you, you guys, for watching my video. Like, you guys have been watching. Who am I that you guys watch me? You guys have been leaving comments. Even though, I think I, in 2020, okay, when we started 2022, I said that the goal was to get to um, 10K subscribers. 
we didn't get to even quarter of our goal but that's fine the views were doing okay everything was perfect like it was going so i'm grateful for everything i'm thankful for where i am today and where we would all be tomorrow and the future to come so in the same light i'm just gonna say happy new year to everyone happy new year happy new year i pray for blessings and favor this new year so you guys um i'm thinking i have an event to attend in talak i'm not even sure if i want to go but then talak is just close to papanga so probably i'm just gonna go but i don't even know if i want to vlog because sometimes when it comes to vlogging you just get tired and you're not just in the mood so if i get to vlog i'm just gonna let you guys know because i'm tired of having to travel and then i'm always with the phone video oh no it's a lot a lot so anyways let's see what happens you guys have been doing what to my heart i don't even know but anyways thank you so much and i hope that 2023 will be perfect and let's do it again this year thank you guys and uh, talk to you guys later when i head out or something if i eventually go i'll just show you guys a little clip do you want to like this video i've been talking for literally 10 minutes you guys <laughs> anyways talk to you guys later bye for now City, hello, Talak City. <laughs> People in Talak, hi.